Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you another video. This one is on Rosie, Superhero in Training. So Rosie is this weekend's showdown poster. Uh, he is a ruthless aggression focused trickster. We have a few of these ruthless aggression focused tricksters, tricksters now. Wow, I can talk. Let's see how he fits in. Uh, he's got a bunch of links. The Anawai Maya Via Legacy, hopefully I said that right. Gems do 25% more damage. Superheroes, that's with Super Stacy. Uh, maybe some of the others, but I know Super Stacy for sure. Any color move that deal damage will deal 20% more. Hurricane and Rosie, Leech Gems do 50% more damage. And then the Ruthless Aggression, matching any color gem, charges moves to that color by one more move point. And he's got the stock superhero and training gear. Speaking of trainer, fantastic training ability. At 6 star, Silence Gems do 100% more damage. Green moves start with 2 more MP. This will be great, obviously, for people using a bunch of silence gems, uh, in particular silence gems and green moves, like Tech Becky and um, New Lex and um, Jey Uso. Also, anytime there's a silence boss battle, um, the silence boost generally is large. This applies after, so it'll be clutch for that. So the kind of this trainer is kind of a must-have for me that I want. Uh, around for for those purposes boss battle plus who knows who comes out with big silence moves i think um dexter loomis has the silence finisher uh based off of silence gems so that's kind of interesting on him as well um there is a moment too it's a feud moment let's take a look at that before we get into stacy um stacy rosie uh because i think it's worth talking about on the uh superhero guys so if you were to max it out Moves that generate all color gems will create four more. Uh, multiply gems and strength increase by four. Initially, I thought, mm, no, but I remember when we had multiply perks, I really liked Molly Holly's multiply build. And plus four to multiply gems probably is enough to bring that back for me. I'm going to have to revisit that. So if you have Molly Holly, uh, maybe take a look at her multiply build and what it would do with plus four. Uh, after that... Uh, this is really set up. Blast gems aren't going to help anyone. Stacy can make them, but you're not really using them with her. It's all about the move damage. And the leech gems obviously benefit Rosie really big, and potentially also Hurricane. Uh, Nikki Ash, these could benefit as well, the generate and then the multiply and stuff. So uh, it's solid, but like for me, the standout would, either, would most likely be on Molly Holly, interestingly enough, and then potentially Rosie. Uh, but it, these are hefty investments to max and stuff, but uh, it's better than I initially thought, mainly because of Molly, and also because Rosie got a nice buff to his leech gems. If you saw one of the earlier previews or the stream, they decided to make a few edits there, uh, which is good, because he plays better now. So let's take a look. Uh, no six stars to go against, which is, which is unfortunate. Uh, I would love to have some six stars for this preview. I got Ivar. Uh, let's take a look at the strap. Uh, no plate. Uh, Rosie's plate will certainly help the leech build. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, I do have a purple move damage medal, not maxed out, and then a set of Fury 2 on my Rainmaker strap. So really the gem damage isn't crazy at 115%. You likely can get a lot more than that. Uh, first move set. Actually, am I going to use all the moves today? Actually, I'm going to use all the moves. So, four builds for you guys. Uh, first one, running discus leg drop, 10 MP finisher, deal 169k damage, make 20 trap gems into red. Diving leg drop, deal 133 damage, choose a 5x1 area to make into trap gems. If broken by you, deal 75,000 damage and increase your purple MP by 10. Broken by your opponent, deal 75,000 damage and deal... 268,000 bleed damage to your opponent for one turn. That's a 6 MP red. 7 MP red swinging slam. Deal 137k damage. Make 15 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, decrease the damage of all your opponent's gems by 20% for one turn. Broken by you, steal up to 75,000 health. Entourage. We got uh, this guy for four more red MP. I think it's Luke or Butch. It's Butch. Uh, we got Doink. He's available in your showdown shop now. Save your showdown coins. Everyone can get him. Purple finishers do 150% more damage. And then two universal 1 MP down trainers. Why, you might ask? Because this is the only way I'm not going to get hit in the face turn one. 
uh, in Feud, so this is the way I thought I would run it. Um, once you're going, you are definitely going on this, and I will show you what I mean. Um, so that two negative MP down is good. If they ever make an ultimate that drains MP when you make trap gems, that would be great. That isn't currently in the game, maybe one day. Um, so in Feud, you would not have this loaded, but that's fine. Uh, you want to keep this anyway. Um, so leave that back. Also, um, I would play defensively with this for the most part. Um, take away his matches sort of thing. Uh, you want to leave some of these on the board. I'll get into that why. Uh, just flows better if you need a second turn, which you will. Uh, so I'm just going to take this swipe. You only need to break one, and that fills your purple. So finisher. All right. So we have three of those trap gems left, and we're going to change all of the trap gems red. And breaking those three, any one of those also fills the finisher. So this should reload everything is what I'm getting at, long story short. And I'm on two times speed. That's a mistake. And this is also why I wanted a six-star opponent, because very likely uh, Ivar's done. You can see we hit for two million, not crazy. You can also see... Um, as he matches any leftover trap gems, you get one turn of gem defense. Against six stars, that's not crazy. Uh, I'll run that one more time. Um, since I, no, I think I'll get all of the moves again at some point. So, I don't think I need to run it once more. Anyway, a hit for two mil, which isn't bad, but against six stars, you're not keeping them down. It does recycle. Uh, that's probably going to take like three cycles, though. And I don't know if double one MP down is enough to make it happen, Cap'n. Uh, but it does make that moveset somewhat playable. Uh, so then let's move to this, which is almost set up very similar, but slightly different. Samoan drop. This is the six star move, I believe. I could double check that, but you know, deal 113k damage. Plus 75,000 bonus damage for every trap gem. 7 MP red. We're putting that one in. And then we're putting the sub in. The bear hug. That's an 8 MP purple. And uh, we're going to use that to make, what, 25 sub gems random. Do 141k damage three turns. Um, re remaining turn into trap gems. Broken by your opponent. Decrease the damage of all your opponent's gems by 20% for one turn. Broken by you. Steal up to 75,000 health. Entourage, we're switching up one thing. We're changing Doink for Dakota. And then if I had Steamboat, uh, Acro Steamboat, he would go in for one of the univer Universal MP Down guys. Sorry, uh, words are hard. Um, so the reason we're using Dakota, obviously, is to buff the trap move. It's 50%. That brings it um, from 75k to 112, uh, which is adding what? So we go to, like, if you had Acro Steamboat, I think we go to 150k bonus for Trap Gem. Something like that. Approximately. Again, I wish I had a 6-star on this one. Same principle as last time. The MP is there. MP down is there, so you can get to turn 2. This is the only way, easily, you can load all the moves. You could do... Two purple MP trainers and start with the sub on turn one, but then your reds wouldn't be full. So this seemed like, to me, the most efficient. You, Your trap gem move wouldn't be full in feud this way, but you wouldn't want it full anyway. Um, because you aren't going to have any traps on the board to start. Hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, yeah, whatever. We only need one to fill the sub. Okay, now we're going to hit the sub, get a bunch of trap gems on the board, hopefully. The problem with this is um, going to be recycling, right? That's the problem with this build. However, uh, if you remember where you put your trap gems, um, you can always potentially break one of those ones you initially had out. Uh, and fill the sub, or you start hunting for red. But this should do like 2.4, uh, 1.9 million there. Um, not amazing, it's okay. I thought the black is where I had it, the black and the blue. 
That black didn't break anything, so... Um, I don't have red, and I don't have purple, so... This is certainly not perfect, obviously, either. It's got its holes, but it's about the only way uh, I could find to make the trap move work. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't cycle back to red, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, this move is primarily going to be a boss battle move if there's a trap bonus, right? That's the basically how you're going to run this with like a Montez starting board, red matches. Probably run just run triple red, honestly. For boss battle which you won't see in this because it's very difficult to pin with um very very difficult Did i mentioned it was difficult to pin with it's extremely difficult. and we have enough to drain him here so i'm gonna pop that okay And then when we, Ivar's done doing Ivar things, we can just hit our sub and be done. But yeah, this move is mainly just for like a trap boss battle kind of thing, right? Uh, triple red, Montez on the board. One swipe, red, fill all your moves, hit the damage, hopefully have another red match, hit, hit this thing again after putting more trap gems out. You know, Bob's your uncle, that sort of thing. You can maybe put the finisher in instead of the sub and go two traps, but I don't think so. I think triple red would be the boss battle way for trap. I'm just talking while we're waiting for Ivar to finish his moves. You know, you don't want dead air time. Honestly, um, for most, um, whatchamacallit's a swipe plate might be good to get MP back. Uh, red or purple help fill you up sort of thing for one of these. But really, uh, I don't see running this one, um, in, in, in feud ever. It's just there so I can show the move. Okay, so different variation of the finisher. Same sort of principle as we've seen before. Um, trying to get to the finisher without taking a shot to the face. This would be the defensive build. So you could run this one potentially, I think. And you've seen all the moves. It's just they're in a different order kind of thing. And let's put this in the same order as on the screen so I don't mess it up. Again, you could start with two purple MP and start with the sub right out the gate, but you're not going to be able to load your red, so no reason to do that. Uh, again, you've seen all the moves. So this is just putting it together. This one actually recycles much better. And this is a different kind of MP drain loadout. Cena to reduce by five. Uh, zombie reduced by three lashley there we go that's his name of black so this is just me tar specifically setting up to target ivar who's red and black um you could use it in showdown pop a maya v on there for the sub to add another turn not needed just got a little extra damage in there since woods and um woods and showboat nakamura still do not work on traps even if visually it says they work they do not do not be confused they do not work yet they still need to be fixed. So again, same principle as we've seen before. Pop this here. Charges your stuff. You're all set to go. You're full. You're jamming. Uh, and this recycles itself. Again, I wish I had a six-star opponent health. So we could you could see how many cycles it would take with this setup. Uh, have a good time-wise, timeline thing, uh, sort of thing. Nice thing about this setup, it's really easy to run. Um, what's the plate that adds red gem damage? Is that the after a sub? That's the dog ear gremlin plate or something like that? That's the plate you could use if you had it. I don't, um, but it wouldn't hurt this moveset. That adds red gem damage, I believe, after a sub. But you can see, this guy recycles itself um, and hit for like 2 million, so... You'd pop this down, get back to the sub again. Um, if you broke any of them, it would fill your purple up again too, just like the last one. I do kind of rather like this one. 
uh, once you get started. The problem is getting started, so for me, uh, it was, you know, how do I do that? You could also do the double universal MP thing and not use the, the extra sub uh, turn. That would also work fine with this. And then you could put someone in where Cena is instead, if you felt like it. So you have options with that one. Uh, pretty solid build set. Touch on the slow side, but very control, so that would be usable. This is the one I think most people are looking forward to, wanting to see his plate. 75% uh, yellow damage works on it. The Leech Gem build, we haven't seen uh, any of this stuff yet. So all these moves are new. I'm going to bring in the Sidewalk Slam, Samoan Splash, and the Samoan Driver. This really is like a Tech Sammy, but much lower MP charge and bigger Leech Gems now. That's, or not Tech Sammy, I'm sorry. Trickster Sammy. Conspiracy Theory Sammy. Uh, this is a much lower charge, more efficient, easier recycling, all of that jazz, and hits harder. Um, especially after they made the adjustments. So the driver is 5 MP purple, 124k damage, make 25 leeches into yellow. Samoan Splash, 6 MP yellow, 125k damage, make 4 pyros into purple. Sidewalk Slam, 6 MP yellow, 121k damage, choose a 4x1 area to make into pyro gems. Modify all gems above it into leech gems of strength 75,000 when broken by you. So... I do want to say, the Leech Gem buff for Feud doesn't make this 75,000 bigger. It makes the gems it's on bigger. Um, just going to call that out. Entourage for this one. have to get it set up. One of these days, I'll have more loadouts, hopefully, for you guys. Uh, but until then, this is what we got. Let's go yellow MP. So we're all loaded up turn one. And I know there's some more rare stuff on in this one in Veer and um, Theory. So just keep in mind, you don't leech gems. You didn't have this, you would substitute with Cena for 45% more yellow damage. And you know what? I'll run this twice, at least. Um, with I'll take off. I won't have a graphic for it, but I'll put on some less um, rare trainers and show you guys the difference. Also, that will allow me to show how much difference you can expect the skill plate to make. So that's an added benefit. So there you go. So we have, we're buffing our leech gems. 100, 200, 225. You could get an additional 50% if you were to take Veer up higher than this. Uh, you could get to uh, 275. Another 50% essentially gem damage. All right, let's rock and roll with this. Um, how hard we hit. So it's really simple. Put your pyros down. On the bottom row. Has to be the bottom row. Uh, and then you make a row break. Uh, it's Row breaks on the bottom always feel more risky to me than like column breaks of course you can't make leech gems work that way maybe we'll get something called the Merrick sidewinder gem that when you break a column it turns everything to the other side into the special gem gem type we'll call it the sidewinder gem column here blow it up and all the stuff on the sides go um that would be a little bit safer you can see i didn't cascade though so these leech gems just to show how leech gems work uh 47k here on the gem as opposed to a regular yellow 20k. So that's where that 225% is coming in and buffing there. So the 400% the would also buff that um, in Feud. Then you just pop this, and you'd get seven, you would have gotten 75% from his plate as well. If you were to have his plate for one turn, so it doesn't stack up. You can see we hit for 3.3 million. Trying to figure out what that would be in Feud with 400% more. I think it's probably going to be around 5 million um, with feud, feud, feud buffs and line bonus and stuff to 6 million. And then, of course, you have the nice leech heal. My guess would be 5 to 6 million in feud with that. Um, oh, that's approximation. Don't hold me to it. Um, so there's that. So let's say you don't have... You want to see how hard the plate would hit, right? Well, we can just take Theory off. And he. this is a... This is about the difference. What do we hit? No Cascade, like 3.2 million. Let's see how hard we hit without Theory. I think you're going to find... In fact, I know you're going to find. 
Uh, and then to make up, we'll make it exactly. We'll put uh, Brawn on for 25% yellow gem damage. And that would be the 75% you're, you're missing there. Uh, which would be exactly what the plate does. So if you had this setup and the plate, you would have hit as hard as I did last time. So we hit 3.2 or 3.3 .3 with no cascade. I want to try and not get a cascade to equal that, so we're just going to go over here. Hopefully I don't cascade coming down either. Didn't. You can see we're at 38k. Uh, from the 42. I can tell you the plate makes about 250,000 damage difference. No cascade. Perfect comparison. Yep. We were like 3.25 and we were 3 million. About 250k is the damage difference the plate's going to make. Um, also, the difference between theory and not having theory was 250k. So, we're going to run one more for you, and this time, if you didn't have Veer or Theory. So, yeah, I think with the moment, five or six million is probably accurate. Um, also, this, obviously, yellow shield breaking would be good. If there's ever a leech boss, he's going to hit harder. Um, so, he's got some utility here. Um, and then Showboat Cena is who you'd replace that, so we're going to lose another 55%. So I would anticipate this hits for about 2.5 this way. And keep in mind, too, my strap is nothing special. Gem damage isn't through the roof on this one. Um, so, you know, your mileage is going to vary. Cascade on any of them. You can cascade. Uh, row break is generally fairly safe-ish, though, so. Baby cascade there. Ah, a little got a little bigger. 3.1 million. So, really, depending on your cascade, you can see, even though it sounds like a lot, it's not the biggest difference when you lose that that gem damage switching to these more common trainers, right? Um, that's why the plate really isn't a huge deal for him, in my opinion. Uh, obviously, it's better than nothing in this build, right? Um, so yeah, uh, where would Rosie fit in with Tricksters? Well, first off, I think his biggest attraction to me personally is the trainer, in particular being ready for like a silence boss battle. That's where I care about it the most, uh, is the trainer ability. And one thing is Trickster is loaded now with people you need to take to six-star trainers if you want their max ability. Um, I'm also missing people like Johnny Knoxville at Trickster, who is great, um, and some other stuff. But, like, as a fighter, he's not Corbin, he's not Steamboat. Um, he's certainly uh, faster than Nash, but no stun. His control move, build sets... Probably faster than Nash with the sub setup, I would still say. So there's that. Hollywood is more for the, the memes for me. Actually, he's just there for the trainer. I never use him as a fighter. I don't even have a strap on him right now. Uh, with the moment and a drip plate, he could do things, but that's way too big of an investment for him. So, like, as far as a fighter goes, I would prefer Rosie over Hollywood, but that's just me. He's a way better Sammy. Like, a way better Sammy. That hurts me to say. Uh, I think he's, like, better than a Mem Rock for sure. Hurts me to say he's better than a Mankind this way. I'm not a fan of Ricochet, um, although Ricochet can use a Judgment Day plate. Not really a fan of Theory. Um, I think Kali is probably better, but random. Um, so yeah, I, I the main thing is the trainers. Like, who do you want at 6-star trainer? Needed, needed, uh, needed, if you have them. Uh, she has to be 6-star to be useful. 
so that's where that comes into is what six star trainers do you want to take Rhea oh also Finn I think Judgment Day Finn Judgment Day Dom are both better um Finn doesn't need to go six star for his training I believe Dom does Asuka six star for training uh, so that's his major competition. I think he's a fine addition at this point. He's a usable fighter, serviceable, potentially even good with the moment uh, in feud, how you have him set up, uh, potentially solid for boss battle, and he's a great trainer. So uh, he's a fine addition. I want to get him for those reasons. Uh, as for when I would take him six star, actually, it's pretty hard to predict. Um, if I get Dom this month, I would I would for sure prefer Dom. Um Priest doesn't have to go six star, so I probably wouldn't take him because he doesn't have to. So hopefully that helps, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share because that helps me. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.